Hey everyone, I'm the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS and I'll be your host. And uh, you're watching Openness, that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. Now leading things off, our first guest is the Diversity and Inclusion Senior Director for Gartner and the founder and CEO of Moms of Ballers, Shot Callers. And she joins us today to speak about the, the work that Moms of Ballers is doing to support youth sports and how they are aiming to bring crime down and drive up graduation rates. It's a beautiful thing, a wonderful program, and we thank them for being here. Please welcome to the show, Nicole Tom. Nicole, welcome. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yes. So tell us about the, the shot callers in the house, Moms of Ballers. Yes, sure. Um, Moms of Ballers is a nonprofit organization dedicated to student athletes that focus on basketball. Um, it started off with just being about sports, but once you get, you know, our, our students' attention with sports, then you're able to um, talk to them about nutrition, um, education, right? Um, we've done several events that focus on like social media um training we're now um, helping our girls um, during graduation with different proms events so it, it's bigger than basketball um, now but that's still our focus is to ensure that every kid that has talent is able to play the sport i think that's a great thing you're doing a lot of uh great things with our youth that uh, the interactions that you do how impactful has uh, moms of ball has been for youth athletes in our community? Yeah, just thinking about some of the anecdotes that we get, um, the feedback from the parents and, and the kids, and they'll say things like, thank you for allowing us to play this summer because without this sport, we wouldn't have anything to do. Um, yeah. Working moms appreciate us, appreciate us. Not a lot of them um, could afford to you know, send their their kids to basketball camps and different training, um, you know, training camps. Um, so we come in right, and we're keeping their kids busy, making sure that they're in summer youth programs, helping out with like tournaments in the parks. Uh, we also do mentoring um, virtually now um, during the pandemic to make sure that they're not feeling alone. Mm -hmm. um, so all of that has been very impactful because we know like um, suicidal rates went up since the pandemic. Um, kids are, you know, getting in trouble. It's not easy being isolated and away from your, you know, friends at school and at home alone. So we have been able to be very impactful um, in that perspective during the pandemic. Has the pandemic hindered anything that you, got, you guys are doing with the organization and with our youth? Absolutely. It hindered everything, right? Um, we want to make sure that we're being safe as possible. And mm -hmm. when you're working with children, it's really hard to make that decision to get them together um, or even having them, you know, around. Um, so we're looking forward to this fall, um, getting back into locations. We work with different community centers to, to host like free workouts. Um, um, so we're, we're looking forward to it, but yes, it has hindered um, a lot of what we do. We haven't been able to do our normal and annual um, basketball tournament called Shoot the Rock, Not the Block, uh, which provides awareness to, to, to gun violence. Um, and we have a lot of fun with like back to school gives away, but we've just been supporting other smaller nonprofits during the pandemic and not really doing anything on our own as yet. Oh, thank you for all that you're doing. Uh, and then you can't wait to get them back and doors because, see, I'm getting ready for the machine. <laughs> Talk about am, that Vertimax yes, machine. <laughs> I am so excited about Vertimax. Vertimax machine is a very expensive piece of equipment. And most yeah. kids in our, in our communities would never have the opportunity to experience what it is to work out on a Vertimax. Um, this is a machine that helps you be able to dunk. So of course, all of our kids are excited um, to start using it. Yes, yeah, start <laughs> using it. Um, so yeah, we're super excited 
uh, about that um, for the fall to provide that training, especially for like our seniors um, who's going to be heading to school and, and need to step up their game. Um, so we'll be offering that in, in October. So with Vertimax, I guess it helps you with your vertical jump, right? Your vertical it's, jump, it that... makes you faster. It's like maybe it's like over 40 different pieces of smaller equipment that help you um, get stronger as an athlete overall. And it's not just for basketball players, a lot of football players yeah, yeah. Um, and not soccer, <laughs> football, <laughs> but I'm sure well, it, helps with, it, it helps with soccer it, it too. Helps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's really a good, it's a really good workout for any type yeah. of athlete. Even a swimmer could benefit from using this machine and equipment. I wonder if I can use it to get back in. I used to be able to dunk, but I haven't been up that high in a long time. <laughs> well, that's can between you to... and your knees. <laughs> <laughs> can I come over to your program and just maybe mess around with it just a little bit? Well, it depends on if you're going to do something else for our kids. Yeah, sure. Yeah, of you're course. You're going to talk to our kids about what you do and inspire them um, to exactly. maybe go into this field. Yes, you can then come on in. It'll be a great interaction. Yes, we can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any upcoming events that you guys are trying to do or put together? Yeah, we're trying to um, relaunch our Adopt an Athlete program. And this is where we have um, educators, law enforcement, um, whoever wants to get involved, um, come and be a play as a mentor. Um, for our kids, but it's just not mentoring. It's also supporting, right? We have kids yeah. that has never had anyone show up to a game. These mentors are coming um, yeah. and cheering them on during a game or just checking on them, holding them accountable. Um, so we're excited to launch that um, back up this fall, along yeah. with athletic training. Kids need to know that there's somebody in the stands or somebody in the audience that are, are backing them 100% and looking at their heavy moves and somebody they can go up to and say, hey, you know, you know, what do you think about that? And they can have, they can have that conversation. It's so very, very important, you know. It's like you see a little kid looking for their parent in the audience when there's a play going on, you know. It's like that, you know, and that's so important. Um, how can more parents get involved in, in what you're doing? You need volunteers or anything? You need money? Absolutely. We're always looking for volunteers. We're always looking for donations. Um, you can always find us on our website at www momsofballers.org and there's a sign up form um, on the website um, to volunteer and we have different things that we do um, we don't just support um, student athletes in their in their trainings we also do um, thanksgiving drives christmas toy drives um, one of my favorite events is the crown her events where we get um, our graduates eighth graders and, and 12th grader girls together um, we get donations of dresses for them and we give them like a real shopping experience where they go pick out a dress, shoes and jewelry. Um, we, we do raffles for their for their hairs and their nails. We know it's a very expensive time. But what we love about the program is that we actually mentor these girls during the event. And one of the things we do is we have them crown each other. And it's something about having one girl crown another girl that they don't know and say something positive to them. And what we learned is that you get more out of doing the crowning than receiving the crowning. And I think it's because that's just something, you know, our typical teenagers don't do. They don't talk to girls that they don't know. They don't compliment or support girls that they don't know. So for them to have that feeling, it drives so much emotion. And I think that's the program yeah. that I miss the most since the pandemic. That's beautiful. Nicole, thank you so much for all that you and your organization is doing. Nicole Todd, Diversity and Inclusion Senior Director Gartner. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Okay. We'll take a break right here. More coming up on Open next.